defies a certain degree of logic. Far and away, the most common type of baker out on the market is a smoothbore reproduction of varying quality and finish. These are overwhelmingly made in India, some in their entirety, and others are refurbished and refinished to a degree by various companies in the Western world. These examples are wholly geared to the reenactor community, who, for the most part, have no requirement for the use of live ammunition. Come to think of it, I've never heard of a reenactment that has called for it. That's probably a good thing. This, of course, doesn't preclude the use of live ammunition for historical shooting purposes, as seen here by members of the 2nd Battalion 95th Rifles in the UK. These also appeal to those who just want a facsimile to hang on the wall or to show friends or simply to own a piece of Sharps Rifles memorabilia, as it were. Let's look at what one of these smoothbore bakers gets you. Firstly, I'll preface this by saying that there are a great many baker rifle reproductions on the market. Mileage may vary, and it pays to ask questions and do your research. Firstly, they mostly come with a reasonable approximation of the shape, look, and dimensions of an original. They do not generally match closely, however. The stock is usually of some exotic, subcontinental tropical wood, which may come varnished with lacquer or something. Sort of the inletting is typically quite rough, if serviceable. Dimensions can differ as well, with a thicker feel in the hand and somewhat fuzzier interpretation of the shape. The furniture is typically serviceable, if somewhat generously cast, and I have yet to see an example that didn't use at least proper brass. The locks are of a range of quality, from barely functioning to quite serviceable. But what they nearly all lack is the proper form. The cock is invariably of the swan neck variety, which is appropriate for post-war bakers of the 1823 pattern, but not for bakers of the Napoleonic Wars. Reproduction oh, oh, oh. Cases seek to replicate the most common version of the rifle, the so-called 1805 pattern. They usually have the simple, rounded patch box of that pattern and a single compartment within. The pattern also has a two-position back sight, and the ramrod often has a funny shape to it, being unusually thick at the end. Now the most important component, the barrel. These are typically provided in two sizes, with Oh, yes, let me see what we have here on it. Oh, the Snyder, yes. Oh, mini box. <laughs>
Merry Christmas from Paper Cartridges. What do you mean you don't want Enfield cartridges for Christmas? They're English.